out of Cali, Colombia. Highly decorated amateur career, including a first round TKO of Juliana Otelora. It's Karen Quintero. Has had a little bit of a staggered professional career, trying to put the pieces together. Maybe tonight is the night where it all clicks for Karen Quintero. You know, I think Karen Quintero might be uh, in a relationship with uh, Luis Sierra, who we saw fight earlier. So we got some, uh, we got some, we got some love on this card. <laughs> a little bit of romance in Colombia. Can't hate that. Titan FC experience for Karen Quintero. What a great promotion to get fights in. You can see in our Burger King tail of the tape. Two years of age separate these, separates these two females. Karen Quintero here for the first The crowd is apparent for Lena Narvaez. 25 years young, 6-0 as an amateur. She makes her professional debut right here, right now. Four finishes in those six victories, three submissions, one knockout, two in the first round, two in the second. This woman Coming is, out shaking her hips, dancing a little bit. When we talk about confidence, Mickey, this is a woman who embodies it. Fought as recently as February 25th of 2023. That night, she notched a second round knockout of Laura Santana. We'll see if the unblemished success continues here in Medellin. Considered to be the 67th best Latin American female pound for pound out of over 500 different competitors. When we think of widely recognized talent, this is one of the best. Let's and uh, I was correct, Karen Quintaro is in a relationship with uh, Mr. Sierra, uh, the beautiful couple. She is gonna put to the test the Mickey Gall Photo Club <laughs> tonight. We took a photo together and we'll see if we can remain undefeated. Luis Sierra, of course, victorious over Brian Yara. We'll see if Karen Quintero can replicate her spouse's success here tonight. We set it inside. Atentas todo el tiempo a mis instrucciones. Quiero una pelea limpia. Choquen guantes lo desean. Sportsmanship on both sides. Karen Quintero, the third best female fighter in the Caribbean, with the biggest opportunity of her life against the unblemished Lena Narvaez in her amateur, excuse me, her professional debut. We are underway at 115 pounds. Quintero in the all black. Lean in our face in the all blue. We got another orthodox versus southpaw matchup. Southpaw means you have your right leg forward, orthodox means you have your left foot forward. Big connection by Quintero. Feels like that right hand of Quintero and the left hand of Narvaez perfectly positioned. Yeah, you know, t uh, conventional wisdom is you want to circle away from their power, meaning their rear hand. but. That's, you know, all rules are meant to be broken. So you would want, uh, oof. They'd both be playing a foot battle where that lead foot, would, they'd want to be on the outside of their opponent, right? So that's what you'll see a lot of times in, in uh, orthodox versus southpaw matchups. But you can, if you f start with the lead hand, or the rear hand, you can set up the lead hand while trailing the other way, tracking the other way. We'll see how these females cook up their combinations. 90 seconds. Down in round one. Was that that wasn't a woman belonging in the kitchen thing, was it? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking chemistry. <laughs> Big fan of the periodic table, Mickey. <laughs> Narvaez really educated with that right hand, probing at the beginning and ends of combinations and keeping Quintero at bay. All of these blitzes from Karen Quintero halted by the jab of Narvaez. Good body kick by Lena. Yeah. Uh, and, and oftentimes, because there's more uh, orthodox fighters in southpaws, 
Southpaws will have a little bit of an advantage in the footwork department because they're used to having to step outside of righties when a lot of times righties orthodox when orthodox people will be going against other orthodox people. So it's I, right now I see oh. Narvaez leading the dance and finishing the fight. That's it. Lena Narvaez locks up a first round finish Beautiful in her professional debut. Brutally went to the body. And that was all she wrote that, for Karen Quintero. I, I need to watch the replay, but I think that was a picture-perfect rear kick to the liver from uh, a southpaw stance. You could see she was fainting that back and leg several you times. You see Quintero still in pain. Like we talked about with the Escudero fight. Man. Circling to her right, circling to her right, and bing! That's the the way she turned away like that, you know it was a liver shot. That was a devastating shot. And again, I gotta say, don't, you, people, casuals will look at that and be like, oh, she's being a, a wussy, she's being a baby. No, you try taking a liver shot. You try taking a liver shot. That thing hurts. Sometimes you can take 100 strikes upstairs, but one perfectly placed one to the body. Absolutely. What happens is your liver is like a sponge. And when it gets impacted, it squeezes your liver detoxifies your body. It squeezes all those toxins back into your blood. So it's like getting hit in the nuts, kind of, for a guy. It's, it's seriously what it feels like. It's very painful. Con una victoria. Knockout technical. Esquina. And there's the smoke. So welcome. Lena Norvez to the professional race. 1-0 with the first round TKO. Referee, a little bit late to the call on that one. You saw Lena Norvez lock up a rear naked choke as well. That had Kevin yeah. Quintero tapping. Yeah. Two finishes in one fight. Yeah, yeah, this, this girl uh, this girl is very impressive to me. Uh, she has a great southpaw game. She circles uh, the way conventional wisdom tells you to. She uses it and executes it beautifully. Great fight, great performance. That makes seven fights, seven wins in a row for Lena Narvaez. Never been beaten, never been truly pushed to the limit. We'll see how high that ceiling goes.